to get you a little bit wrong today. Right? Let's begin with a little bit of the history of this place. How do we get here? And how we became the biggest winery in the whole Mexico? Let's go back to 1924 when Mr. Angelo Cheto, who was the founder of this place, he came to this uh, Mexico. I raised Mexico City, then he decided to make some business in the wine industry. So he traveled all the way up to Tijuana. And TA he opened a small wine store that he used to call Bodega Cheto. Nowadays this hill however when main office is back there, okay? Pretty close to downtown TJ. In 1928, four years later he came over here and he established this big company. Well, at that time we were little, but now we are the biggest in the next. When he passes away, he sold their son to cover the factory and change the name from Bodega Cheto to LA Cheto. Okay? Um he uh the name of the actual owner is Luis Agustin. From L uh, LA means Luis Agustin actually. Okay? He's about 84 years old and most of the time he lives in Tijuana. Okay? LA Chateau has right now 1500 acres. Everything uh, is producing great right now. The time of the harvest, August, September and October, you only get to see the trucks are coming every 20 minutes. And they dump in here the metal pen about five to eight tons of grain. Okay? Now in the bottom of every pen we have a mechanism that's called the auger to help us to push the grain. You can turn around so you can see they uh, push the grain right there it comes in the separation of the grain from the wooden part. The wooden part comes up over here and then we send it back to the field as a common part. What is more important for us is what we keep in the bottom of this uh, box, which is the juice, the seed, the seed, okay? The mulch is sent up by pressure, by this metal pipe, goes straight to the fermentation room, and now I know they're there. Right there, where the magic top wine is coming from. Alright, so far we have three fermentation rooms that we have in the whole company, right? Uh, right here what happen is the alcoholization of the beverage, right? For the white ones, the white ones they have to be here for alcohol only four weeks. In four weeks they get about 12.0 of alcohol. Then we send it up to Tijuana for bottling, okay? The white ones they don't have to go into a wooden barrel unless we are working with the Chardonnay. The Chardonnay grape is the only one that we have to send into a wooden barrel and then belongs to a different category, an upper category. Now, the rest one, they have different story. They have to be here about six or eight weeks for alcohol, and they get about 13.5, six or seven of alcohol. Then we send it to the barrels room. Right in the barrels room, they go into different barrels, depending the grape and depending the category of the wine that we are working at that time. As you can see, the process are totally different. For a white one, we only need four weeks. For a red one, we need from six weeks up to eight weeks for alcohol. Plus the time that they have to spend into a wooden bed. All right? Okay, questions? No questions? So what kind of wine they produce here? I mean, only Sardone or different? Like a red wine? What kind of red wine they make this year? Okay, can you repeat the first part of the what question? What is the brand of the wine? The brand, the yeah, wine, the wine that you are producing from here, the market, you know, like in the, the market. Uh, well, we have four different, twelve different uh, lines. Every single line is contained four different bottles of wine. So it's uh, we work like a fifty kind of bottles right now. Uh, I don't know if that answers your question. You wanna find it under the name La Cheto. And I'll show you in the room, I'll show you all the brand, the, the names of the bottles. Okay? Yeah, okay. So, so you can take a picture. Yeah. yeah. They are in the line of this. All right, let's go to the barrel's room. The white one, right? The white one goes straight to the bottle. The red one, 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 the red one,
историческим местам. Не, ну это интересно. Я... Интересно, да. Ну, я... Я никогда вообще не... хотел да. вообще знаешь, да. потом улыбиться, знаешь, как да. понять да. производство да. этих типа. да. Well, Alrighty guys, this is all part of the factory. Let me just tell you, the building you have right in front of you, it used to be our main facility back in the late 30s to the uh, 50s. Some of the machines you see over here, they were used in that time, okay? In this little plaza, where the gazebo is, is where we start our uh, wine fest, which is coming every first week or second weekend in August, okay? Uh, we started with a Catholic service over here, the vision from Ensenada, celebrate mass. And then after the blessing, everybody goes to the main plaza over there. We set up all type of canopies, and we give you to taste all the wine from the house, including the, the oldest one. They didn't tell us anything about it in August. They didn't tell us all the shit. They didn't? Well, well that the was for the tour. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, around 6 o'clock, everybody's coming this uh, this uh, hallway, right where the palm trees are. They're always waiting a little bus that is taking us up to uh, to the hill up there, where we have uh, an open theater that we call the Terrace, that they have a splendid view to the whole valley. Okay? Right there, we have a dinner around 8 o'clock. We have a capacity of uh, 1,500 people, and we have a dinner, really nice dinner, around 8 o'clock, and around 10.30 or 11, we have the performance of a singer, maybe a band, that is coming to perform for us to the, the wine fest. It's just one day, all right? But it's wine and everything. Ah, well. <laughs> and I remember that I always got bored and when I grew up I found like oh this is the reason why they like to come here for the wine. <laughs> Name of this wine is wine exactly. We can do it by with salads also. <laughs> I mean, with a second man. No. 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 Like this. I open one because they have it. Like this, is, I give for you. I don't want to make that for me. No, no, like this, man. I said you. Yeah. Not cross contamination. You, you, not you spin it. <laughs> yeah, you just put the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Я вот я вот я взял вот это вот какого. Посмотрите, посмотрите, какая красота. Какое ты взял? Роман.